So there's some calls this morning for the new Miami Marlins manager, Ozzie Guillen, to be fired after some controversial comments. He told Time Magazine this, I love Fidel Castro. I respect Fidel Castro. You know why? A lot of people have wanted to kill Fidel Castro for the last 60 years, but that expletive is still there. <laughs> Guillen has since apologized, saying this. I feel sad, and in a couple of days, I, you know, stuck in my stomach. Not because of what I did, it's just because I know I hurt a lot of people. And I'm going to make it clear, especially for me. I want to get that thing over with, and I got. I, I, I told the Marlins I want to fly as soon as I can, and tomorrow is the day off. I don't do nothing in Philadelphia. I'd rather be in Miami, clear, clear everything up. So he's got some work to do because, of course, uh, Miami is pretty much the crowd where you don't want to say anything about loving Fidel Castro. Well, the stadium is in Little Havana, so right, I, I, right. that's the issue yep. there. Uh, but, but here's also what you have. You have an individual who's from Venezuela, okay? And whether we want to own up to it or not in this country, there are people in other parts of the world who have a different view of Fidel Castro based upon his fights with the United States. I mean, and so and we, he so, supported so, Chavez, and then he's also taken it back. He said a right. number. A, a lot of people did that, and again, what you're saying is he he admires uh, Fidel Castro's tenacity more than his policies oh, or please. oppression of his people. No, that's <laughs> like amazing. <laughs> Joseph Stalin's longevity. Well, I'm trying to be fair to the guy because I agree. This is like if I went to Texas and saw, talked about how great Santa Ana was in Houston. Am I right? Yeah, yeah that me, wouldn't be popular, and, but and, it was a long time and, ago. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and let me also say, as a nation, uh, we play footsie with a whole bunch of di dictators. Absolutely. If we really want to be honest. But maybe we don't like having that conversation. We play footsie with Mubarak. We, Absolutely. We, he said, I love Castro. I admire Castro. Yeah. Then he realized, oh, our stadium is in Little Havana in Miami. And there are a lot of people whose lives oh, were destroyed uh -huh. by Fidel exactly. Castro. It'd be great to have he a needs conversation. to go back now and apologize. It'd be great to have a conversation it's very strange. about how we treat communist nations. What's the best way to bring them into the first world? That being said, going into Cuba and praising the man who's had prison camps and firing lines exactly. just, just south of the border isn't uh, a but good idea. You know what? We said in the break, if, if, if the Marlins have a winning season, he keeps his job. If they have a losing season, he's in trouble. And I'm not saying Ozzy in trouble. He I'm not, made the question is, will his apology work or will his not apology not work? Well, well his mitigating circumstance here is, I'm not saying Ozzy drinks a lot, but Billy Joel won't get in the car with him. And there, okay. are, and there are people there, and there are people who are in uh, that city as well who, is, who are saying, look, don't fire the guy so you have both sides of it. Bottom line, though, this country is a policy. We welcome Qaddafi back into the fold. Yep. You know, the stuff that he did. So please, America might want to please, check our own foreign policy with dictators. Please. But it's true. Mm -hmm. I think he better win Tell some me games. I'm wrong. He better win. He better Most win right. some he games win a lot and he better games. have a very heartfelt apology. He won the World Series in Chicago, so Good. he, he can do it again keep it in Florida. Up. He better keep it up. All right.